Woof, 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 woof. Lieutenant Porforge, status report. Captain, all ship systems are normal, but I'm detecting an unidentified object drifting out there ahead of us. Mr. Dogter, put it on the main viewer. Captain, it appears to be a skeleton and it's moving. Counselor Chutoy, do you sense anything? Its instincts seem primitive, but it desperately wants to shoot us with its arrows. I'd advise caution. Captain, it looks delicious. I mean, helpless. If we beam it aboard, we might be able to reason with it. You're right, as usual, Commander Barker. Captain Poochard, the skeleton, it's gone. It's materialized inside the ship. Red alert. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Wolf. Welcome back everybody to Minecraft The Journey with me, Bugman CX. I'm up here on deck on this amazing pirate ship that we built in the last episode. I've been decorating out the crew quarters and the storage areas down below deck. So if you head around here and head down this little access way here, you're in the below deck areas of the ship and right up the front here we've got loads of chests that have got all sorts of things that pirates might need or that they've plundered, all sorts of things like that. Up here, a couple more chests, but I like this little section here. This makes me think of rope netting that might be holding up some items bound up here to the ceiling. And down below here, we've got this, a little one by one room. I kind of think of this as a jail cell, somewhere where we might put a stowaway and lock them up if we discover one has hidden away on ship somewhere. Out here, we have this social area, a place for pirates to eat their food and down here a place for pirates to cook their food as well. Do they have any food? They have pumpkins. Of course they do. I mean they're pirates. Pirates love pumpkins. In the back here we have crew quarters. Inside of here we have these little bunk beds that the pirates would sleep in. Of course it's very close quarters because it's only a small pirate ship but I think it looks pretty good. It's basic but it looks great. And in here pirates store of course couple of diamonds and their cutlass. Of course, what pirate wouldn't want to sleep next to their cutlass just in case? You never know what could happen in the middle of the night. So this is looking really great now. I love this. There's probably not much more that I'll do to the ship now, but I'm quite happy with the outcome and I do love this build. What an amazing ship. Now we're pretty much done with release 1.1 of Minecraft and I'm ready to take the plunge into release version 1.2. As usual, there are some snapshots in between 1.1 and 1.2 which we're going to explore, but I'm not going to go through every snapshot in detail. I'm just going to cruise through these snapshots and make our way up to release 1.2 where we can explore most of the game's new features from there. Oh, snapshots. The reason we love snapshots so much is because they often introduce really weird and quirky bugs, and this one is pretty strange. Pocket bug, I'm going to have to borrow you again for a moment. As you can see, Pocket Bug moves around wherever I move my mouse cursor, except at the moment his body is pivoting strangely. And that's because, well, let's take a look at this. At the moment, my character's facing south. So if I bring up my inventory, you can see that this is the front of my character holding my golden apple here, and I'm facing the front as normal. But if I turn this way to the east and have another look, yeah, um, my head is still facing towards the south. That's pretty weird. And if I spin around and face the west, same thing, my head is facing south. Pretty strange. So what happens if I face north? <laughs> yeah, we get the back of my head. This is definitely the front of my body. Oh yeah, that's weird. I'm, I'm sorry, pocket bug. I'm sorry to put you through this. Wait, I've got an idea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, this looks great. Are you sure this is a good idea? Yes, Pocket Pug, I'm sure. Ready? Let's go. Oh, that does not look comfortable. Pocket Pug, how are you doing? You know, the other day I actually dreamed I was able to quit my job. Oh no, chicken! What are you doing down there? Whoa! Look who I found out here in the tiger biome. What have you been up to? 
clearly, clearly something we shouldn't be talking about. I discovered in this snapshot that it's now possible to use rotten flesh and other kinds of meat to breed wolves. I'm not actually sure if it'll work on a non-domesticated wolf though, so let's just see what happens here. Yes, it is possible. It is possible. Let's go and breed you and you. Uh, and and now do you breed? Do, do, do you breed? Why aren't they doing anything? <laughs> They're in breeding mode. What about you? Now, will you go and breed with that one up there? No? This is very confusing. I've tried everything I can think of. I've tried pushing them together. I've tried giving them words of encouragement. I've even tried love songs. But these things just aren't interested in breeding. I do actually have some bones with me, so it might be possible to domesticate a couple of these and then have them follow me. Yes, like you two. And let's see if we can actually get these two to breed. I just need to get myself back my rotting flesh and will you breed now? Yes, yes, okay. Well, that's very interesting that I can put... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, look at a little puppy. Look at the little puppy. Oh, he's my puppy. He's my puppy. Oh, that's so cute. All right, let's take you all home. Bah! <sighs> Maybe I can just... Oh! oh! Don't tell anyone. Maybe it's time to try a different approach. Last time I was here, the mayor compulsorily acquired my house. Let's see if there's anybody home. No, looks pretty quiet. Maybe I should check around the back. Hmm, not much going on back here. <gasps> oh, sometimes I just love my job. Oh, Jeeves, could you bring me my champagne? Thank you. Ah. Hmm, I think the coast's clear. I'm gonna make a run for it. This couldn't be better. While the mayor's distracted, let's go and visit Bones and Jumpy. Bones? Jumpy? There you are! How are you two? It's been so long since I've seen you. I hope the mayor's been looking after you, and I'm sorry I can't take you home, but if I do, he's gonna notice. But I do have a surprise for you! Look at that! Some rotten flesh for you, and some rotten flesh for you. Let's get you up so you can actually do your business. Oh, that's the stuff, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you for breeding up one little puppy. I'm going to wait for a little while and let that thing grow up, give you two a rest, and then we're going to breed up one more, and I'm going to take them home to my new base and look after them. What are you two doing? We've got ourselves two little new puppies now, so I'm just going to sit you down and sit you down, and I'm going to take these two puppies home with me. Let's walk out here before we get a mass escape of all those things. And the two puppies should follow me, yes, because... I'm your, I'm your new daddy. Let's take them home uh, and I'll just make sure that we don't have any more incidents along the way. Uh, we're going to have to go over land because we can't take you through the nether. Let's go doggos and we'll breed up some more along the way. They make the cutest little sounds. What is going on here? Hmm. Look at these two fools. What have you gone and done? Hmm, well, it's breeding time, I suppose. Let's see if we can breed you up in the minecart. I'm really curious to see if this is going to work. Oh, 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 you're into its business. Mm. Oh, we got a little pup. I didn't even see where you came from. <laughs> you took me by surprise. How's this for pretty weird? With these two dogs in the minecarts, as soon as I go out of range and they teleport to me, they, they turn into ghost dogs. Oh, this is too weird. I wonder how far this will actually extend. Yes, all the, oh, underwater. Ghost dogs. Oh, that's freaky. What does the sound of 25 wet dogs sound like? I've been busy breeding up my dog army and now I think I'm ready to go out with my, oh, that's looking pretty ominous. <laughs> I think it's about time to go out with my dogs and do a few things that you normally do in your Minecraft world. So first we've got to make each and every one of these individual dogs sit up. Now this started to make me think, right? Wouldn't it be great if Minecraft 
how to dog whistle so that you can control all of your dogs at once, make them all sit together at the same time, make them all come to you by whistling on the whistle, something like that, because when you've got something like this, however many dogs this is, they're very difficult to control. Oh, I'll, I'll be with you in five or ten minutes. Well, the first thing to try and do is just take the dogs for a walk. And at the moment, that already seems like I'm going to dig my way out. Like, more of a challenge than I first expected. These things just keep pushing me in every direction. I've got to look out for all the trees and all the other hazards. Oh, um, I'm sorry for all these close-ups, but I just can't see where I'm going. Okay, let's go into normal mode and see if we can get anywhere. It's a bit easier when you've got some open ground, but if you get stuck in the trees or oh, <laughs> or the water, um, yeah, yep. You just run into this kind of problem. Uh, yeah, we've already had a few deaths along the way, so I've got myself some rotten flesh here, and I'm gonna try and, ugh, I'm, now that I'm stuck in a hole, I'm just gonna breathe them all up again and um, cont continue. Uh, this isn't the nice, peaceful walk that I was anticipating. If I run into some trouble along the way, the dogs are pretty quick to defend me, which is nice and handy, although they too seem to take a fair bit of damage from these mobs. I'm not sure I'd want to take them to a bar fight. Ooh! Let me... let me out! <laughs> Time to go home, pups. Well, this was unexpected. <laughs> Get out of there! Why not try a little bit of spelunking? Uh, I'm guessing that wasn't such a great idea. No, no, I need to go back this way. Uh, no, it's a dead end. No, 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 we need to go this way. Oh, thank you. No, I'm, no, I'm, mi I'm mining here. No, 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 I'm, mi I'm trying to mine here. No. Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh. Wait, are you all right? Uh, are you all stuck in the cobwebs? Oh, no. Uh, okay, all right, let me just quickly raid this chest and uh, we'll move on. We'll move on. We'll get out of here. I'm running low on torches. Hopefully you will all spawn back to me. Whew, that was a close call. Ooh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm going to get in here and quickly raid this. Get that as well. Yeah, yeah, they're doing the job. They're doing the job. Uh, I seem to have a lot less than I started with. Of course, we can always try a little bit of building. I thought that this little spot out here, uh, except for these holes, might have made a good little spot for a, a log cabin in the woods. So <laughs> I'm gonna get back to the surface and uh, try and build one. First, we need to clear out a little bit of this land. Oops, uh, sorry, oops, sorry about that. We need to, whoops, sorry, sorry about that. We need to clear out a little bit of this land and level it out, make it nice and flat so that we've got uh, a place on which to build. This is, oh, sorry about that, sorry about that. Uh, just one more, just one more, ought to do it, there we go. Now, we'll start by building the main construction of the house, that is the, the oh, there's a bit of snow there, can I, can I place the, let's try from this corner here. Actually, uh, change of plan, what we're gonna do first is we're going to fill in this hole, because this hole, the dogs keep falling in, I keep falling in, I just, I just need to get to the hole, okay. Let's fill in. Oh, I've made a dog sit down. I'm, I think it might be lost in that hole forever now. Let me just fill in, fill in the hole so that, okay, there's, no, I don't want you to sit. I want, I want that to be filled. And then, hmm, uh, just around here, around here, we've got just, yes. Okay, we've filled the holes. All right, that's a good start. Now we'll get some logs out and we just want to have, just, just starting over here in this corner here, we want uh, a little, Let's get rid of that. We want a little... Uh, we want... Uh, no, not not exactly there. We want... Ah, uh, yes, that's perfect. Okay. So now we're going to build a wall along this side here, right where that grass is. I just need to... I just need to go around this tree because uh, that's going to give me the clearance that I need to be able to come back and start building 
the wall section of this house. Yep. Okay. It's doing, looking good, looking good. Okay. Let's let's build one one layer up, shall we, so that I can build the wall uh, and see exactly what I'm doing a little bit more clearly. But this is only going to be a modest log cabin, just something that you might expect to find. Um, from some lumberjacks or something where they come out into the woods like this and they they need somewhere to rest right so they build themselves a log cabin to sleep in now let's let's go around here and let's figure out where the door should be i think the door should probably be there because that's probably a good place for a door to be now i need to make myself a crafting table so we'll just get the materials necessary for that and pop down the crafting table. Let's get it inside of the house for now, just, just to make it a bit easier for us to do our work. Now I want to have, uh, so let's just get a whole stack of planks to make life easy. And we're gonna get a door because we do need to have a door on the front of the house. Now, where was the front? I think it was over here, right? If I can make my way through here, thank you dogs. Um, I just wanna place the door down right right here right right there right right i just want to place the i just want to place the door down right here maybe i need to get rid of the snow is that the problem yes okay perfect we've now got ourselves a front door let's get some more logs because we're going to want the logs around the base of the build here so if i place down some logs just like so uh, I'm making a lot of dogs sit. I don't mean to be making you sit. It's just that you happen to be, you know, where my mouse cursor is. Okay, 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 there we go. Bit of space for us. Let's get up here, shall we? And place the next row of logs. This is much easier, isn't it? Oh yes, very easy. And around this side as well, we need to have, no, we need, no, no. Uh, around this side as well, we need to have more of the wall like this, like, yep just like that and oh, oh over, no okay so we're working on this bottom section now we want a couple of logs here no there's a dog sitting there so we need to go around this side i'm gonna get rid of that mistake oh there's some dogs in there as well and if we go around the back of the tree we should have a better opportunity to put down the logs that we need hello okay now we've got couple of logs here and here and one here and here and there okay that wall Oh, excuse me. Okay, you you keep my dogs occupied while I head in here and build. And if I go around this tree again, it should give us the room we need to finish off that little <clears throat> corner of <clears throat> the house there. And just just there, just there. I need just to place one one more log right there. Yes, perfect. Okay. Now, now that we're here, if I can if I can get around this corner and pop over here. I'm gonna pop that there to help me get up here because right now we need to finish the top row of logs. And there we go. We've got the foundation of the main cabin here and a crafting table. With the crafting table, I'm now going to build myself some stairs. And obviously with the stairs, we're gonna use that for the roof. It's not gonna be a very exciting roof. I haven't even measured this house out. I just thought I'd build it, you know, wing it. Hey, hey. <laughs> and now we can build some stairs like this. Okay, this is looking pretty good. And if I can squeeze myself this way, can I? Yes, perfect. Look at that, building skills. So if we just continue to build up like this, we should be able to make a nice, neat little roof like so. Actually, you know what? This is a lot easier than I first thought, right? I thought this was going to be difficult. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay, there we go. So just conti continue to... Ah! Okay, uh, I give up. I give up. I'm going home. No, I'm going home. Well, I'm so happy that we've been able to breed the next generation of puppy dogs in our world, and hopefully you learned a few things from this episode too about what sort of activities you can enjoy with your own puppy dogs in your own world. I mean, the list is endless, believe me. But that is all we have time for in today's episode, so I want to say thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed yourself, then feel free to subscribe to the channel because it all really helps. I want to say a huge thank you to my amazing patrons as well, your support is so appreciated. And I will see everyone in the next episode. Until then, this has been Pupman CX. you've been watching Minecraft The Journey. Bye-bye. <laughs>